everyone, Joel Lance here, and today we are in Miami, Florida. Yes, that's right, Miami. Down in Miami, Miami. I'm in Miami, B word. Uh, yeah, anyway, here guys, I'm here with good friends, Mr. Dan Killer Kennedy. Also have Nathan Figueroa in here. Uh, Nate Figs being right there. No, oh, he was right there. Anyway, so yeah, here we do the big team pizza challenge. Uh, it is a three person team. I believe the pizza is like 14 ish pounds. Um, it is a big two liter soda with it as well. So yeah, we gotta pick two toppings. I think we did uh, ham, green peppers. That's about it. I think we're gonna have 30 minutes to do it. If we do it, we get it for free. And maybe a t-shirt, some of those lines. Okay, the specifics, but that's about it, guys. Well, overcast day here in Miami, but it's been sunny, what can I say? So let's go ahead and eat some food, have some fun. I'll get you some more details and uh, let's eat some food. Hey everyone, so here are the pizza. It's definitely a big one. Uh, that being said, there's three of us, so it should be pretty good. Here with good old Mr. Nate, Hello. Mr. Dan, as I said, guys. So super excited, it's been a while since we all crossed paths. But uh, what do you guys think? Ready to eat some pizza? Do yes. It. So I think it's 30 minutes. That's about it. And oh, and the two liter. Can't forget that. I don't know if there's a record, but uh, I heard uh, some guy once came in here and did it with like only two people in 20 minutes or something. So this, this might take us a little while, but uh, we'll see what happens. All right, guys. So um, we're going to go ahead and start this challenge in three, two, one. Timer has started. It in. And it is going. Get the side. Once. Good luck, everybody. I don't know. I heard you about a good job. Here it's Chapo. It is a big fight. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Steve's Pizza. So Steve's Pizza, it's a little, like a small chain-ish, I guess you could say. Like there's multiple locations around Miami and we're at the one just kind of south of Miami. So here we are doing their big 14 pound team pizza challenge. So three people, 30 minutes and a two liter soda. So as we mentioned, Nathan actually had done this, I think twice before, once with a team of three, once with a team of two, and now with us. So he's well versed in this challenge, whereas it was Dan and I's first time doing this challenge. Um, so but yeah, really cool to meet with these gentlemen. They're both great guys. I got to do uh, multiple challenges with Dan and I got to do two challenges with Nate. Um, always excited to be down here in the uh, Miami, Florida area. Um, so it comes to the challenge itself. Uh, it is a New York style pizza, so they call it. Um, and it was, I would say for the most part, definitely quite thin, where a lot of the weight of the uh, dough and a lot of like that extra weight came from was the crust. The crusts were very, very large, as you can kind of see in the corner there. This pizza slice uh, underwent some, uh, some damage here, so you so gotta take it carefully. As far as toppings, we went with uh, ham and green peppers, um, which again are kind of the very standard and some of our favorite pizza challenge toppings. I will say though, while I am a pineapple on people person, the gentleman to my left and right are big pineapple on pizza people. So let me know down below guys, does pineapple belong on pizza? <laughs> I'm gonna do what you're doing. You saved the crust. To the last, to the last. <clears throat> Did you, you learn your lesson? Hmm? I'm asking if you didn't learn his lesson yet. What happened to him? He didn't take his crust for the last, but the child's no water. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you do it two days? At the same time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just run two and a half minutes in, guys. Going real well. No complaints. Good pizza. Just gonna keep her going. I feel like mine's like bigger. <clears throat> no. -uh. <laughs> All the places were pretty big. That was a big one. I guess we grab one of these Diet Cokes. Finish up that two liter. You did have your variety of toppings, though. You just had to pick two and you had a choice of soda. We went with the only diet option, the only two liter, which was Diet Coke, but hey, we all like Diet Coke. It's a pretty standard beverage, and if you're familiar with food challenges, you're very familiar with it appearing in many, many, many videos um, for many people, not even just the three of us here on screen today. It is, I was gonna say the same thing. <clears throat> that butter, well, I don't know what it is. I'm coming off. <clears throat> um, how are we gonna get that last slice? Joel. It's like right 
The uh, owners and workers, the gentlemen in store, were not sure if there was a record per se. They were only kind of aware of the two t people time, I guess you could say, which was Nate and some other individual when they did that. Um, so we just kind of quest it into it. I did have my marinara sauce. You know I love marinara sauce with my pizza. That's some good sauce. Yeah. More specifically, I enjoy dipping my crust in it. Um, I had a couple challenges, or I, I guess I have a method, a method to the madness of saving my crusts for last. It's not something I always do, but it's kind of my preferred way to eat it. And then I dip my crust in the marinara. Um, but that, everybody, that's pretty much all the information I think I have to share today. Overall, a solid pizza. I have no real complaints. Um, I like extra sauce in my pizza. It wasn't the sauciest pizza, but it did have a nice bit of uh, moisture, um, good bit of, I don't know, oil, greasy-ishness, um, just probably from some of the ham and whatever else they used to make it. But yeah, overall, solid, no complaints. Um, huge thanks to Mr. Dan. Dan, again, great eater. He is an absolute monster at pizza challenges, definitely well-versed in them, and uh, pizza is definitely his item and huge thanks to Mr. Nate, Nathan Figueroa for joining us today um, it's been a long time since the three of us had all linked up so it was great to do so and, and especially in the uh, lovely city of Miami, Florida so that everybody, I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video and ultimately let's see what happened Shy eight minutes, guys. <clears throat> Everyone's just finished that up. It was like 7:57, something like that. So it actually was a really like, nice challenge. I really enjoyed it. Of course, guys, it's always fun to share the table with great guys, Mr. Dan, Mr. Nate, gentlemen. How's the pizza? It's good pizza. Very good. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Ten so, out of ten would recommend. Ten out of ten would recommend. So now we get the meal for free. I uh, don't know if you get anything else, but that's about it. I don't know, gentlemen. Any words? 
subscribe to me. Yeah, subscribe. Definitely check out Gemma's channels. Links Our down channels below, of course. Be in the description. Absolutely. Look at that. Look at that. I don't even charge it. It's free. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's right, guys. Subscribe is free. Much appreciated, guys. Much appreciated. Support. Huge thanks to Miami the area. Beautiful down here. Can't wait to go see some more of it. And uh, until next time. See you, Beth. Are you happy? You know what to do. Can't reach the camera. Is that your thing? Can't reach the camera. Part of it. that when I had to come back, there was wind holding me back. Drone lesson. And um, I- Hey everyone, so here we are in Wynwood. But uh, yeah, so we're checking out Wynwood in Miami. So this is pretty cool. So there's like all kinds of art and graffiti and stuff everywhere that'll focus. So yeah, check this out a little bit by night, getting a little cooler tonight. It's gonna go down to the, like 50s, which is really cold for Miami. So, uh, but yeah, let's go check this place out. And again, there's all this graffiti. There's just art everywhere and all these buildings. This whole place is just painted. They like painted even the little water tower things. This is, this is crazy, but like super cool. And look at this stuff. We got Donald Duck, grandfather guy, Monopoly guy. That guy, we got money, money. And holy jump, it's look, there's even more art. But look at the freaking detail on those people. I don't know how they do that, but I'm damn impressed. But I for sure can't draw like that. Okay, so this just gets crazier, crazier. First off, how do you draw that? Do you see the quality of this? Like, it looks absolutely fake and it's massive. And then how the living hell do you draw that? Look how big that thing is. This is a freaking like huge building. Like, I don't know. Oh, look at it, walking to Miami Beach. Look at this freaking crazy stuff, guys. Only you like get Christmas lights and Christmas umbrellas down here in Miami Beach. I'm in Miami Beach. Everyone, down here in South Beach. I was here about a, uh, geez, how long ago is that? Almost. A year it was no almost two years ago March 2019 um, so yeah super cool look at all these lights again lots of beautiful lights and this place is lit it's very dead right now but it's still pretty dang cool so South Beach I'm gonna come back down here when it's light out but at least I'm here in the dark we have these roads closed off too so I don't know what's going on but a little, a little dead compared to normal this was lit last time I was on it Maybe I should throw some footage up from last time, but oh look, got some uh, Christmas lights and presents and stuff, and this is crazy. Yeah, this is dead. Yeah, this was crazy last time I was here. There's nobody here. Wow, this is uh, this is different. And this is what is referred to as the Versace house, like the Versace guy. Apparently he was killed on these steps, but beautiful building, like stunning, crazy architecture. And it looks like it is now a restaurant called Gianni's. Cool. Look, you can buy some caviar for only uh, $250. Great. So we got some big cool light tunnel thing there. And then last time, which that's actually really, really cool. Um, it's like a, pr it's an ornament. Oh, that's what it is, it's an ornament. Cool. But last time I was here, this bar was just absolutely bumping, just And now there's nobody, not even a soul. It's not even open. Not sure if that's because it's a Monday or because of COVID or both, but still lots of, because of COVID, yeah. Still lots of pretty lights though, which I like all the lights, but crazy. All right, and although we can barely see it, hold on, wait one second. This is going to be the Miami skyline, right? Here, Miami skyline by night, guys. But yeah, very dark on the camera. But that is the Miami skyline by dark, which is very beautiful. In person, it's very beautiful. You cannot really see the true beauty of it right now, but it's it's pretty cool. It's very picturesque. Looks like a Miami postcard. And that's a Miami sunset. <clears throat> as unfocused and bumpy as that is. Definitely in some rush hour now. Yeah, and it's almost five, but the sun's gonna set here shortly, so. 
but yeah, we can cover that. Anyway, yeah, anyway, Miami Beach, y'all. Definitely a cool place to check out under normal times. It's like a little Vegas, but uh, under times right now, it's definitely not, but still very beautiful right by the water. That's water literally right on the other side of those trees. And this bridge is literally just water. So, pretty cool. Now we're going to enter Miami city limits. I'm going to get back to driving. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you click my face right here, you can subscribe. Yes, that's right, click my face, subscribe guys. It helps me out, it helps you out, then you don't miss an upload. And hopefully I can meet you when I come to your city. Also, click a video right here. I specifically picked two videos, yes that's right, two videos specifically for you right here. So click a video right now, get that going, and it's going to end. So click one quick, let's go, let's go, and have a great day.